So I found this clear glass bottle. It's a little dirty. I'm trying to rinse it out. I'm in here at this abandoned parking lot throwing the ball for Oliver while I wait for my laundry. And there's a bunch of flowers blooming. Your typical weeds, see them along the edges behind me. This is in focus. I can't really see my screen right now using my cell phone. And I thought I would do a very quick, with just a quick experiment of how quickly I can go around and try to accumulate something that makes some kind of presentable arrangement, flower arrangement. I didn't bring my knife. Normally I carry a little pocket knife, but we'll see what we can get. I'm not sure I've covered this one. It's got these very uh, distinct, I think what they call whorled leaves, like a whorl, like going around, W-H-O-R-L. I'm gonna grab a few of these. I feel like these are like filler plants, like what florists might use. An, an example of what florists might use is, uh, I think, baby's breath. I'm not sure, maybe there's Maybe there's a random florist watching this video. We'll take a few of these. I'm just ripping them out by the roots. We'll trim them up after. All right, we got a lot of red clover. I'm sure you guys can see that. I'll try to get some stems that haven't turned to brown. A lot of them are starting to go to seed. We're not going to use a lot of these unless I see some more. Red clover. All right, I also see lots of another kind of clover. We know it's clover because it's got these little three, a distinctive three leaf pattern there. Let's try to find some nice long yellow stems from it though. Right here, this one seems rather bright. Are you smelling some other animals? What do you smell, buddy? I'm not sure what I'm looking at across the way over here, but I see some pretty tall white flowers. I actually think we might be seeing some, uh, what's that one that supposedly helps people sleep? Blanking on the name, I actually covered it in one of my videos. It starts with a V, what the hell is it? Valerian, that's what it is. Yeah, this is definitely Valerian. Flowers, they're slightly pinkish, slightly white, and they've got these compound leaves that are pretty distinct. Valerian. I think it's the root you would dig for medicine. There's not really a lot of it around. I just see this little patch right here, so I think I'm just gonna take a couple of the stems. This has a pretty nice smell, very floral smell. Here we go, one, two, three, four. I also saw another distinct little flower over here. And I actually don't know if I've covered this. I'm not gonna take it because it doesn't look that good. This yellow flower is known as St. John's wort. Uh, in herbalism, they say it helps with depression, but supposedly science hasn't, that hasn't fanned out correctly when they tried to study it. Who knows though? Um, it's got these little alternating cross-like leaf patterns. See like it grows one way, then the other, then the other. And then these five leaf flowers. So I'm not gonna take this one, but that's St. John's wort. I love abandoned parking lots because I just think it's awesome how quickly nature tries to recover. You can see the stuff splitting up through the cracks. Uh, the bare pavement in some ways emulates just bare earth. You could imagine magma shooting out of the earth's crust and creating fresh land. And that this whole plant engine is designed to capture that loose ground, build up biomaterial, and then resist erosion. It captures sunlight, it captures wind, it harnesses the wind to spread itself. Um, you see very primitive organisms here. 
This one will cover in one of our plant series when I get to lichens, but this is a really easy to recognize lichen. Um, I won't tell you what it is yet, you'll have to wait, but it's, you can notice these little red tops here. We'll get a close up. Lichen are very basic combinations of fungus and plant cells, so the fungus is able to live without sunlight and dissolve the rock directly, while the greenish cyanobacteria or algae uh, is able to capture sunlight and turn that into sugars and energy. So they come up with this nice little uh, symbiotic relationship. Another example of that colonizing power of the plant world to recapture bare ground, there's this little baby birch tree here. And this would definitely get killed by a landscaping crew, but I just love how it's just sprouting up right there. Right behind it, a little willow tree that would also meet its doom if this was not an abandoned lot. Eventually, someone might buy the building and it will get reclaimed. All right, let's find some more flowers. Finish this off. So these stringy, purple flowers, they're actually attached to a little vine. If we can get close and find their grabbers, yeah, here, look, look up close here. You see the little vine twirling around this plant and holding on? These are all vetch. Vetch is related in the pea family, just like these clovers. And when they go to seed, it looks like they have little seed, uh, pea pods. I don't know if I'll be able to use some for an arrangement, but I'm gonna try. Might just shred to pieces. Might be able to stuff a couple in there. Drop those in. One, two, three, four, five. Let's try to find one or two more to really bulk it out. All right, this one's a very common one. A lot of, I feel like a lot of little kids would know this one. You might know them as daisies, but more specifically, they call them ox eye daisy. So let's try to find some that are not too effed up. Some of them are ready to wilt, so you'll be selective. That's a decent little bunch. And here's one I noticed that I'm not gonna actually pick. So I don't have anything to cut it with and they're all sort of fading. But this is a rambler rose. All these flowers will turn into very nutritious what are called rose hips. Rose hips are little apple looking fruits. Very rich in vitamin C and other plant nutrients. Right now these flowers are all withering. This would have been a great source for pollinators. And also little songbirds love these things it's very dense and thick in there and it's great protection from predators from above and below. The only problem with Rambler Rose is it's a pain in the ass if it gets in your yard. These long drooping branches ramble out and they'll start re-rooting and spreading through the branches and the roots. You probably see some, there's a shoot there that I'm pointing out with my flowers there. So this will spread and become annoying. Um, and maybe hard to kill if you don't want it around, but it might be fine if you have a countryside and you just want to leave it along the edges. While I'm here, I think I'll take some of these grasses. I don't, I don't know grasses very well, but I think these might be nice. Look at the way they're swaying. I feel like that's super meditative when you're just out here chilling. Let's see what we can do with this. We might have enough now to actually make something happen. It's not a very big bottle anyways. Also nearby in this abandoned parking lot, you just saw the Rambler Rose. You can tell because they have very simple flowers. Five petals. White. Or over there, got this sort of pinkish color. Smell pretty good. You can see the uh, fruit of last year right here in the center screen dried out rose hips. Very nutritious. This is another plant you'd find on the coast. So I'm just sort of stuffing them in there for now and kind of grouping them by type and height and then as it fills in I might just sort of rearrange them a bit but we'll see how it looks in the end. 
just kind of stripping off the lower parts so they can get into the water clean. And as I do it, I'm kind of looking around for bare spots to see if it's a good candidate for the next section. Now I suppose there's probably a bunch of little floral tools like snippers and things to kind of clean stuff up, but I am not an expert in this realm. I think that if you were a dad or something and you went out with your kids to do something nice for your wife and their mom, it wouldn't matter how it looked. Sometimes just a clump of dandelions is something to endear people to you. Kind of ugly. Oh shit. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'll leave that on a trash can somewhere and somebody might find it endearing. <laughs> but yeah, if you have any kind of talent with that sort of thing, it's kind of, it's actually kind of meditative, uh, rather zen-like. Oliver's interested. So yeah, I'll fill it up with a bit more water. That bottle could stand to be actually scrubbed out. I literally found it in the woods full of dirt. But, there you go.